May the 4th be with you. Hello, everyone. This is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you like it, hit subscribe. If you like the video, force push the like button. Let's talk about the best Star Wars project that never came to fruition. We've gotten spoiled with Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Andor, and so much more on the way. But way, way back at Star Wars Celebration 3 in 2005, George Lucas announced an idea for a TV series he was referring to as Star Wars Under. World. One of the writers on it was Ronald D. Moore, of course, of Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek, and for all mankind. Uh, he described the show as an overarching story and described it with lots of action, lots of sets, and huge set pieces just much bigger than what you would normally f do in a television show. And this seemingly was the downfall of Star Wars Underworld. The plot summary from George Lucas Total Magazine in the May 2008 issue. It's kind of like episode four. It's funny and there's action, but it's a lot more talky. It's more of what I would call a soap opera with a bunch of personal dramas in it. It's not really based on action adventure films from the 30s. It's actually more based on film noir movies from the 40s. That sounds very exciting. Uh, producer Rick McCallum called it Empire on Steroids. It was going to take place uh, between episode 3 and episode 4. Of course, it would feature no centric Star Wars characters. It would be all new characters. The characters we know and love would be kind of hovering in the background somewhere lurking, like ready to come out to play if necessary, but they were not the leads. There was 100 episodes plan. This thing went significantly over budget. George Lucas could not figure it out. Back then, this is 18 years ago now, they could not fathom how to bring this to television successfully. HBO was HBO, but it wasn't, they weren't making Game of Thrones as of yet. I believe, and I still believe, that had streaming come a little sooner, George Lucas wouldn't have sold Lucasfilm to Disney, and he would be producing his own Star Wars shows for all of us to hate right now. Uh, Star Wars Underworld is something that always intrigued me, though, but the fact that they had a hundred episodes planned. Rick McCallum called it like a hundred hours between the stuff planned. And George Lucas uh, once this is from Wikipedia now. George Lucas says of the show, it sits on the shelf. We have 50 hours. We are trying to figure out a different way of making movies. We are looking for different technology that we can use that will make it economically feasible to shoot the show. Right now it looks like the Star Wars features, but we have to figure out how to make it about a tenth of the cost of the features because it's television. We are working towards Toward that and we continue to work towards that and we will get there at some point it's just a difficult process obviously when we do figure this problem out it will dramatically affect because feature films are costing between 100, 250 and 350 million when we figure this out they will be able to make a feature film for $50 million. And I think you go into the volume now. Stagecraft, John Favreau and co, they've kind of taken it in that direction. I think George Lucas, I think that's one thing that you probably appreciate about the new stuff is that it's pushing the technology forward, which is something George Lucas has always been about. But back then, 18 years ago, they weren't there yet. We haven't figured it out. And so Star Wars Underworld, which had a ton of potential, a ton of very talented writers behind it, working with George Lucas, trying to figure it out. Uh, but unfortunately, it went by the wayside. It was Star Wars Underworld going to take place on Coruscant and the underworld belly, the dealings of that going on while there's a galactic empire rising and the civil war happening. And I was always fascinated by it. I, of course, was not at Star Wars Celebration 3. If you were, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Uh, but this was, for me, the best Star Wars we never got. And maybe we will one day. Those scripts are written. And they're available, Disney. They are available. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the fourth be with you.